Hello everyone, this is Mehdi. In this video, I'll be showing you two different methods for creating narrated presentations. Narrated presentations are a way for students to submit a spoken presentation without actually having to be physically present in the classroom. They also allow students to plan exactly what they're going to say before presenting because they can read from a script as they record their narration. The first method for creating a narrated presentation is to use PowerPoint. PowerPoint is a commonly used Microsoft product that allows you to create your own slideshows. Once you have created the slideshow for your presentation, as I have here, you can use the insert audio feature to add narration to each slide. The exact button you need to press will be different from the one here if you're using the PC version of PowerPoint, but the process is similar. Simply press Media, then Record Audio. What will pop up now is the audio recording interface. I can click the red button to start recording, then speak whatever narration I want to include in my slide. Once I hit Save, the audio will be inserted into my slide with a little speaker icon. Clicking on the icon, then clicking on Format Audio, allows me to choose some different features for this audio file. I can make the little speaker icon disappear when the audio is playing, and I can also choose whether I want the audio to play automatically or to start when I click the button. So PowerPoint is one option for a narrated presentation. Another option is to create what's called a screencast. The video that you're watching right now is what would be called a screencast, since I'm showing you what's on my screen as I deliver narration. In order to create a screencast, you can use a variety of different screencasting tools. There are free products that you can find on the web, or there are more complex tools like Camtasia that you need to purchase in order to use. The easiest way to make a screencast is if you are using a Mac computer. Mac computers automatically come with a software called QuickTime. After opening QuickTime, you simply choose New Screen Recording and follow the instructions on screen. Once you finish narrating over the images on your computer screen, simply hit the Stop button and QuickTime creates a video for you. These two options, PowerPoint and QuickTime, are both really simple tools you can use to create a narrated presentation. I encourage you to give them a try.